Drivers, stop your engines! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bora FedEx Amateur Series Season 5 Race Number 20, the Season 5 Finale from Homestead. Now, coming into this race, the guy on pole, Ryan Spangler, has a 20-point lead over the guy starting in 6th. But until then, you have Danny Coffey starting 2nd, Tammy Dirk and Damian Stone starting 3rd and 4th. They have Pretty Shaw, Nicholas Cook, 2nd in points, starting 6th. And you have 3rd in points, Gary Halstead starting 7th, and 4th in points, Steve Love starting 8th. Those are the only 4 championship-eligible drivers. So, before we get on, we're not going to do the rest of the lineup. Coming into today... Ryan Spangler has 20 points over the 5 car of Nicholas Cook, 40 points over the 22 of Gary Elsop, and 44 over the 11 of Steve Love. For the 11 and the 22, it's going to take close to a miracle. For the 20, it's just it's a bad race from the 33 and a good race from the 5. I'm not say for the 20, I'm not say for the 5, who is 20 points back. <laughs> Excuse me. But if Ryan Spangler leads a lap, taking away current running orders aside, obviously, he would be one point ahead of, or 21 points ahead of the 5. And it looks like he will lead this lap, because my goodness, the 99 just fell off. That 21 is getting a huge run down the back. <laughs> the outside lane non-existent. The 99 looks like he's having issues. And Ryan Spangler will get a bonus point. That's not at all what any of the championship contenders wanted to see. Gary also third in points. He's making a move. Four wide for second. That red National Guard Chevy. That black and red Bass Pro Chevy of the number 11. The of the discount tire Ford of the 22. All running down that black and blue Ream 33. Did I say Ford discount for tire? I'm going to say discount tire Dodge. Damn it. It's impressive that the 5 and the 11 really aren't dropping back. Because, the, or not really the 11, but the 5. The 11 was stuck on the middle with the 5. Gary also trying to run down the leader. And his championship rival. Ooh, the 11 throws a block on the 5. You'd think they'd be, like, working together and stop battling each other so hard. Ryan Spengler leads the first two laps. Gary also going to the lead on lap number 4. Or the first three laps, excuse me. Nicholas Cook somehow passing people up in that middle groove. There is speed up there. And the 22 clears the 33. Nicholas Cook gets shuffled to the very outside line. That's going to hurt him. The 33 coming back at him. Trying to take this lap away. He doesn't get it. Gary also gets a bonus point. Daniel get her all over the back bumper of that 22. Look at this pack behind him. Surprised there hasn't been a caution yet. Ooh, I feel bounced off the wall. Marcus Satchi having trouble on the back. Next season, the Amateur Series is going to look so much different than this, so soak in this view. Steve Love dropping way back, along with Nicholas Cook. Now Daniel Gitter is taking a crack at Ryan Spangler, who did lead lap number five. He led forward with the first five. Daniel Gitter thinks he's got him this time. He squeezed him all the way up to the wall. Ryan Spangler going for a crossover. Getting the most laps led bonus points can the biggest thing Ryan Spangler can do. Because those extra two points, that's two more spots on track he doesn't have to finish. Or doesn't have to worry about. And I can see that red National Guard Chevy in the bag. Nicholas Cook having a freak out session right now. It was looking so good. He was keep making the middle lane work. And he got shuffled to the very outside line. And, well, the, end, the rest is history. So Ryan Spangler is now five for six this race. Drew Glass trying to take a crack at it. Don't count the 22, though, man. Gary Alsop, he's been there all race. Ryan Spangler went a little higher than he wanted there. He's led all but two laps so far. But that's fine. He doesn't lead all of them. He just lead the most. He's still for the very outside line. I think he's about to drop back. That's what happened to the 5 and the 11. The 5 is making moves, though, man. He's working the outside line, passing people. Last time by the 5 was in 25th. Let's see where he's at now. It looks like he's past the people, but I'm not so sure. Damien started on Luke Airbline nearly making contact. Yeah, the 5, 25th to 22nd that lap. Oh, he's on the bottom now. Here comes Nicholas Cook.
Eric Draven took the air off a spoiler. Ryan Spangler was able to dip back into the middle line. Four wide for second. Two of which are JGR cars. Then you have one RCR and one Kevin Harvin Incorporated. We're going five wide. Tammy Durek, you're a madman. Cynthia Bright backed out of that. She had to, man. There's no choice. Oh, right of four wide again. Gary also making moves. Ryan Spangler backed out of it. They got too risky for him. Damien in the wall. Daniel get her all over the quarter panel of the 33. He got loose underneath the 99. This is not where the points that are wants to be. Drew Glass, though, has definitely taken the most laps led so far. Ryan Spangler shot out of a cannon right there in the middle. 15 lost all grip. The 20 got sent way out to the outside. Joe Jefferson nearly going in the grass to get past that four wide battle. Okay, Drew Glass and Ryan Spangler are both at five laps led so far. Gary also has led one. And now Drew Glass taking the most laps led achievement away from the 33. He's not six. He's led six of the 12. And Ryan Spangler coming back for more. At 33, he's got a quick car as always, but today it's exceptionally quick. We thought he'd choke under the pressure. He's only a rookie. He got a guaranteed ride last season from the trucks, but he didn't win the championship. He was just really consistent. This season, he's been dominant the second half. Cynthia Bright coming to take a lap of lead. No, it looks like Ryan Spangler's going to tie it back up at 6. And Nicholas Cook, don't look now. He's worked his way up to 16th. Cynthia Bright making a move to the inside. Three wide, almost four wide for fourth. Tires are starting to wear out big time. Expect to see cars on pit road any time now. There might already be some. There's not. Ryan Spangler threw a mean block on the 32. Drew Glass is not going to appreciate that. He got him up out of the groove. Took the air away. Cynthia Bright's going to steal a lap lead. Thirty-three and the thirty-two are still tied on laps led, I believe. I've already lost count, honestly. Doesn't really matter at this point, though, with the thirty-three running up front and the five back at twelve, and he is coming. Green flag pit cycle has begun. Oh, 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 oh! Oof, oof! That was so sketch. Oh, and Elias Garrett's turned around, so caution's definitely out, I would imagine. He, it's not. He was below the apron. The 22 is a really good pit stop. Oh, well, he must have hit a lap before, I'm guessing. Yeah, he did. Joe Jefferson has a huge lead right now. This cycle, this strategy might actually work for him. I know he was in the top 10, but dang. Let's see if those lap, extra lap on old tires works out. The five is sitting on pit road for a long time. I don't like the looks of that. <laughs> he did come out far behind the 33 for being honest, though. Oh, yeah, he did. Quite a ways. I'm more focused on that 06 car, though. So, Cynthia Bright comes out first. Then Drew Glass, Damian Stone, I think. I don't know. I think he can't hit a lap before the 33, so he might have pulled some strategy there. Joe Jefferson staying out that extra lap. Does it work? I don't know, man. This field is so scattered. Cynthia Bright's going to put him a lap down. It did not work. Or no, he's going to take the lead away. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm tired right now. <laughs> Alex Joaquin, though. This strategy might have worked out perfectly for him. Where's the 54 of Luke Erbelein? Just now leaving pit road. He stayed out the longest of anybody. If this race goes caution free, that's going to be a very interesting strategy. Especially because he was deep in the field. So if he's even remotely close to the top 10, that's going to be crazy. He was not deep in the field, actually. I lied to you. Cynthia Bright should be the leader. If she gets past the... There she goes getting past the 54. So Joe Jefferson came out 14th. Luke Airbline looks like he's going to come out about 6th. Make that 7th if Danny Coffey gets by. 
So I guess that worked out pretty solid for that 33 car, or the 54 car. So Cynthia Bright recycles with the lead. And that is Ryan Spangler's teammate, so. Alex Joaquin, JGR having a really solid day. Gary also pretty deep. Ninth, where's the five? He worked his way up to 12th. He comes out 18th and he's in risk of losing that to Joseph Gibson. But that, or that five car has a really good long run machine. The five car lost exactly five seconds because the 33 is point forty five. And he's 554, so about 5.1 seconds on the 33. He's probably about a second and a half, two seconds back when the pit, pit, pit cycle began. But that pit stop did him no favors. Homestead Miami has a habit of turning into long green flag runs with strategy. It looks like that's what today's going to be. Nick also ran a 28.35 last lap. Cynthia Bright ran a 27.88. About half a second off pace. Six miles per hour at the end of the straightaway. Damian Stone going for the lead, trying to snap a really long win this streak. You can put a blanket over the top five. The rest of the field is scattered. Nicholas Cook a full straightaway behind. Three wide, though, for third. The 33 is just so good in the center of the corner. Hard to believe nobody has DNF so far. So Damien Stone catches Nick Alsup. Rides behind him for whatever reason. I expect him to cool down. I wonder if the dirty air is making it hard for Damien to get by. He's going to go for it on the exit of turn two. Spangler traps Alex Joaquin behind the 38. So Damian Stone takes the lead. Four to go here. Homestead Miami, four to go for the FedEx Amateur Series. Season five. There's a caution now. It's likely over. The five car running 19th would literally need the 33 to blow an engine. And to finish dead last almost. And with Ryan Spangler coming for the lead. With three laps to go. It's not looking promising for that 20 or for that five car. He's going to have to, to 18th. That's where he came out of the pits. He's leading that second pack three seconds behind this front pack. Not even the front, front pack. Three seconds behind the second pack. The top nine now are under blank. It was the top uh, five earlier. So Ryan Spengler takes the lead. Two laps to go here at Homestead. Gary also in the 22 had a great season. He fell behind in the championship race towards the end of the race, like last few races. He was top three, led the points for a lot of it. He did not get a single win this season. Can he go out of the season on top? He wouldn't be the champion. It's it's mathematically impossible at this point. But he could just go out with a win. Coming to the white flag, Cynthia Bright takes the lead. Gary also up to the inside of Cynthia Bright. Damian Stone going to go to the middle. Gary couldn't quite get the run on the inside. Here comes Luke Erberlein. He has the freshest tires of anybody. He's going to push the 22. Gary's going to yeet it to the inside. Luke Erberlein got underneath Gary Alsup. Cut off turn number four. Cynthia Bright is going to end the season with a win at Homestead. Cynthia Bright wins at Homestead Miami. And her teammate, Ryan Spangler, is your FedEx Amateur Series Season 5 champion. In the last four seasons since we adopted the modern era of the Amateur Series, Kevin Arvin Incorporated has won four of those championships. Alright, we'll be back to look at your official results. Cynthia Bright, your winning photos up on the top right now. Your official results go Cynthia Bright with the win. Then Gary Alsop second, Damian Stone third, Luke Airline fourth, Danny Coffey fifth. You have Drew Glass sixth, dude. Champion Ryan Spangler seventh, Dylan Abraham eighth, Alex Joaquin ninth, and Tammy Derrick rounding your top ten. 
Notables outside the top 10. Nicholas Cook, 18th, just couldn't get it done today. When the 33 was as perfect as he was, it, it just it took a lot. Um, Steve Love choking under the pressure, getting 37th. And then all the way down to Nick Allsup, only car lap down. So, that was the Amateur Series Season 5. Thank you guys so much for a great season. Next season's going to be completely different. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. He said, boy, can you make fans stand and scream your name? Have you hit him in the ass? Never let off the gas till you rode into Big Lane. He said, boy, do you know how it feels when you're running three wide? Cause if you're Daytona bound, let me worry you're in for a ride.